when Embraer, renowned for its regional aircraft and business jets, decided to enter the military aviation arena, few could have predicted the profound impact of this bold move. The result was the C-390 Millennium, a military transport aircraft that not only challenges the legendary Lockheed C-130 Hercules, but also redefines industry standards. Now the C-390 is poised to reach new heights as NATO countries place their trust in its capabilities for a monumental plan that could elevate it to become an unmatched super aircraft. But why was Millennium chosen over Hercules? What colossal plans are NATO nations plotting with it? Let's find out. The C-390 has earned international recognition, particularly for its cutting-edge electronic warfare EW systems, the result of a multi-million dollar contract between Elbit Systems and NATO countries. Nations like the Netherlands and Austria have committed to investing in this Brazilian aircraft, transforming it into a true flying fortress. Among its groundbreaking features is the DARSIM system directed infrared countermeasure from Elbit, capable of automatically detecting, analyzing, and neutralizing threats, along with the Spear Electronic Warfare Pod, which provides advanced electronic attack and radar jamming capabilities. These technologies elevate the C-390 to a strategic level, making it a formidable contender against modern threats. The Netherlands and Austria's purchase of the aircraft, finalized at the Farnborough Air Show, underscores Europe's growing interest in employing the Millennium as a core component of aviation security. Under a five-year contract, this tactical transport aircraft will be transformed into an advanced defense platform, blending Israel's innovations with Brazil's engineering expertise from Embraer. With an estimated price of $85 million per unit, the Millennium represents a highly competitive, cost-effective solution for nations seeking a versatile, state-of-the-art military transport aircraft. But why was it chosen to be upgraded into a flying fortress? Let's find out. But first, let's see how the C-390 was launched. By the late 2000s, the Brazilian Air Force faced a challenging dilemma. How to replace its fleet of C-130 Hercules aircraft, known for their durability, but increasingly outdated, to meet the growing demands of modern operations. Complex missions such as logistical transport, medical evacuation, and humanitarian aid required an aircraft capable of carrying more cargo while offering greater efficiency and flexibility. Recognizing this as a golden opportunity to solidify its position, Embraer boldly decided to step out of its comfort zone, leveraging its expertise in civil aviation to enter the fiercely competitive defense market. This was not merely a project, but a declaration that the Embraer brand could indeed excel in the highly demanding realm of military aviation. As a result, the C-390 emerged as a groundbreaking solution to meet the modern demands of military aviation. A transport aircraft that not only boasted superior cargo capacity, but also delivered high speed and optimal operational efficiency, shattering decades-old standards. For over half a century since its introduction in the 1950, the C-130 Hercules had set the global benchmark for military transport aircraft. To create a replacement that not only matched but surpassed the achievements of the Hercules, Embraer faced a bold challenge to redefine the limits of military transport aircraft. Instead of following the conventional path with the traditional turboprop engines used in the Hercules, Embraer took a groundbreaking approach by opting for a jet engine. They equipped the C-390 with the IAEV 2500E5 engine, a technology renowned for its reliability and fuel efficiency in commercial aviation. However, they didn't stop there. This engine was refined to meet stringent military standards, providing the aircraft with superior operational performance, faster speeds, and extended range. These enhancements not only boosted efficiency in transport missions, but also positioned the Millennium as a symbol of progress and innovation in modern military aviation. One of the most impressive features of the C-390 is its cargo bay, designed to handle payloads of up to 57,000 pounds, 26 tons, meeting the diverse transportation needs from heavy armored vehicles to emergency humanitarian aid. This space is not only spacious, but also optimized to ensure efficient and safe cargo arrangement in any situation. Additionally, the use of advanced composite materials and improvements in aerodynamics have elevated the aircraft's performance, reducing fuel consumption and enhancing durability during operations. What truly sets the Millennium apart 
is its ability to operate flexibly in harsh conditions, including landing on short, rough, or unpaved runways. These factors have made the C-390 an indispensable tool, ready to undertake missions that demand resilience, high performance, and the ability to respond swiftly in any circumstance. In 2009, Embraer officially launched the C-390 project with strong support from the Brazilian government and the Brazilian Air Force, FAB. This was not only an ambitious mission, but also a colossal challenge to develop a military transport aircraft capable of meeting domestic strategic needs while competing in the harsh international market. The next phase marked relentless technical efforts with a series of rigorous tests to perfect the design. A groundbreaking milestone was reached in 2014 when the first prototype successfully completed its flight, showcasing Embraer's exceptional innovation. From then on, it underwent further stringent testing in extreme conditions, such as freezing temperatures, high altitudes, and humid tropical environments, proving its reliability and superior versatility. To increase its appeal in the global market, Embraer also focused on optimizing operational costs and reducing maintenance time. Two crucial factors for operators. Advanced diagnostic and monitoring systems were integrated, not only enhancing performance, but also ensuring the aircraft's readiness at the highest level. These improvements have highlighted the C-390 as a strategic investment, providing exceptional value to international operators seeking operational efficiency and maximum profitability. So why has it been chosen by NATO countries to evolve into a flying fortress? Firstly, the Embraer Millennium stands out as one of the most advanced military transport aircraft in the world today, combining modern technology with unmatched capabilities. Powered by two jet engines delivering approximately 69,000 pounds of thrust, 34,500 pounds per engine, the C-390 boasts a maximum speed of 540 miles per hour, which is approximately 870 kilometers per hour, far surpassing the C-130 Hercules, which achieves a top speed of 417 miles per hour, 671 kilometers per hour. This speed advantage is more than just a numbers game. It ensures a much faster response time in critical missions such as humanitarian operations and medical evacuations where time is often of the essence. Second, another significant difference lies in its range. With a range of 3,810 miles, which is about 6,130 kilometers with partial load, the C-390 can fly nearly 1,500 miles farther than the C-130 Hercules, which has a range of only 2,360 miles, 3,800 kilometers. This additional range is crucial for long-haul flights without the need for refueling, a capability that dramatically enhances operational flexibility, especially in remote or conflict zones where access to refueling stations is limited. This extended range ensures that the Millennium can maintain a constant, uninterrupted air presence across vast distances, an essential requirement for modern military and humanitarian operations. Third, in terms of size, the C-390 measures 115.5 feet, which is about 35.2 meters in length, and has a wingspan of 115 feet, which is 35.5 meters, nearly identical to the Hercules. In terms of payload, the aircraft has a maximum takeoff weight of 191,000 pounds, 87 tons, surpassing the Hercules with its 155,000 pounds, 70 tons. This allows it to transport heavy loads, such as armored vehicles and large quantities of cargo. Next, one of the standout features of the C-390 is its aerial refueling system, or AAR, which expands its functionality by allowing it to operate as a tanker for other aircraft. This makes the aircraft a force multiplier in strategic missions. While the Hercules also has variants with refueling capabilities, its older design and traditional technology are less efficient in integrated operations. Moreover, the Millennium integrates cutting-edge avionics, systems, and design features that have revolutionized the way military transport aircraft operate. Its robust cargo hold is designed to carry heavy and oversized loads, while its highly versatile airframe allows for rapid configuration changes. Whether it's delivering vital supplies or evacuating civilians, it is capable of performing in the most challenging environments from rough, unpaved airstrips to natural disaster zones where infrastructure has been destroyed. Which feature of the Millennium impresses you the most? It's advanced technology, cost efficiency, or global recognition. 
The aircraft's adaptability doesn't stop with its physical capabilities. It has been equipped with sophisticated electronic warfare systems ensuring that it can operate in hostile environments and mitigate potential threats from enemy radar and missile systems. This makes it a true flying fortress, capable of executing complex operations under high-risk conditions while maintaining the highest levels of safety and security for its crew and passengers. The decision by NATO countries to invest in the Millennium highlights their recognition of its exceptional potential. The aircraft's advanced technology, combined with its superior performance and versatility, positions it as a cornerstone of modern military logistics. Countries such as the Netherlands and Austria are not only purchasing a transport aircraft, but are also acquiring a strategic asset that will enhance their defense capabilities and ensure they remain at the cutting edge of military operations for years to come. Since its debut, 23 units of the C-390 have been produced, with multiple nations incorporating this modern marvel into their air forces. In contrast, the Hercules has seen over 2,500 units produced since its inception in the 1950s, a testament to its long-standing legacy. However, the Millennium is a true 21 state century aircraft, meticulously engineered to meet the demanding performance and versatility requirements of modern aviation. A new variant of this aircraft is emerging, promising to propel Embraer and the C-390 to new heights in the realm of air defense. Do you think the C-390 Millennium has what it takes to surpass the legacy of the Hercules in the long run? With the first deliveries to the Brazilian Air Force, FAB, in 2019, the Millennium embarked on its journey toward global recognition. International air shows such as the Paris Air Show have become the perfect stage for Embraer to showcase the aircraft's capabilities. The response from experts has been overwhelmingly positive, with particular emphasis on its blend of cutting-edge technology and lower operational costs. This combination places the aircraft in a league of its own, poised to redefine the future of military aviation. Strategic partnerships have played a pivotal role in expanding the reach of the C-390. In 2021, a groundbreaking agreement with Boeing was forged to boost international sales. While this partnership eventually came to an end, Embraer has continued to secure new markets, with Portugal becoming the first European country to purchase the Millennium, followed by Hungary, solidifying the aircraft's presence across multiple continents. On December 10, 2024, Embraer achieved another major strategic victory with its collaboration with the Slovak Ministry of Defense. Against the backdrop of rising tensions in Europe and the Middle East, the demand for high-performance aircraft has become more urgent than ever. Recognizing this need, Slovakia announced its intention to purchase three C-390 aircraft, further enhancing its fleet with one of the most advanced and reliable transport aircraft in the world. This move marks a significant step forward in Embraer's global expansion, reinforcing the Millennium as a key player in modern military aviation. With Slovakia recently joining the list of Millennium operators, do you think more NATO countries following suit? Leave your thoughts below. In conclusion, the Embraer C-390 embodies the future of military transport, merging cutting-edge innovation, exceptional performance, and unmatched versatility, while the C-130 Hercules remains an icon of aviation. The millennium marks the dawn of a new era, one that meets the demands of a dynamic, technologically advanced world. Can the C-390 become the next revolutionary force in military transport? And how does it measure up against American giants like the Hercules, or even KC-135? Do you believe Brazil can surpass the military powerhouses in this arena? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you and stay safe.